Hello world, this is my first unboxing video ever. This is my first mail order guitar ever. Um, ordered this from Sweetwater about two weeks ago. It is the Line 6 Variax electric guitar. That's my dog in the way. Um, just arrived this morning and I was told I had to let it sit for a few hours. So I have let it sit for a few hours and now we're gonna open it up. I got this guitar with a specific purpose in mind. Since I'm the lead singer and guitar player in Iris Goo Goo Dolls tribute. If you know anything about the Goo Goo Dolls or your guitar player, you know that they use multiple tunings on multiple songs in multiple keys. Um, and uh, I used several guitars on stage, and then I realized that it was gonna be a lot easier to not have to use five or six guitars in capo and tuning and worry about tuning issues and gauge issues and uh, this was the way to go, the Line 6 Variax. It's a box in a box. So I'm really excited. I saw some demos of some guys doing some really, really insane stuff with this thing. The tunings, the, the uh, amp modeling, the, I mean, you can make it sound like a 12 string Rickenbacker, you can make it sound like a Dobro, a Dan Electro. Uh, you know, a Les Paul, just about any, you know, common modern day stringed instrument, this thing will mimic. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. And it is, uh, it's a different design. I was not crazy about their original design. It's like 10, 15 years ago they put it up, something like that. I wasn't crazy about that, but this is kind of a, this is kind of a mix between, I think a Paul Reed Smith top or body with a little bit of a Les Paul vibe. Um, so, and I chose the black because black's cool and it's easy. And I'm gonna probably graffiti it up a little bit with some Goo Goo Dolls paraphernalia since it's pretty much being used strictly for the Goo Goo Dolls band. And if you look online, if you Google um, Johnny Resnick Line 6 Variax, there's actually a 30 minute video of him out there um, with this guitar, with an older model of this guitar doing a demo with it, and he's pretty amazed by it too, so. Um, clearly I never do this, because I'm unboxing it the wrong way, but I'm almost there. Even comes a little gig bag. No idea what this is. Oh wow, battery charger. Interesting. Phone to stop it. So, I will say the only thing that worries me about this guitar is that right there. Here's an interface. Oh, wow. Here's the interface, USB interface. It is a computer, and it, you know, like anything electronic or technological, it can go wrong with. Sometimes with a regular six stringed instrument, all you do is change the strings and. Phone to stop it. And, um, so this is a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it, but um, I'm excited, so here we go. Look at that. That's a pretty guitar, I have to say. The sound effects from our dog, she wants us to throw the rope some more. So yeah, you can kind of see it's kind of, it's almost got the, it's a single cutaway. Uh, there's dual humbuckers and then, and then if you look, if you look here on the knobs, uh, there seems to be a volume and a tone, and then, I don't know if you can get in here and look right there. It's got the labeled, the two knobs are labeled. So the top one says special rockabilly chime. Uh, semi, jazz box, acoustic, spank, T model, and then this is baritone. Oh, here you go. Model um, standard tuning, drop D tuning, half step down, drop D flat, one full step down, dad gad, open tuning, blues and resonator. I mean, how amazing is that? Freaking resonator. 
And I heard this thing demoed, and it sounds, I mean, that's in tune. It has a kind of a fat neck. Probably sand the back down, maybe. I'm not into big glossy necks, but it's got a fat neck, and I have fat necks on my guitars. I have the Richie Conton Telecaster, and that's got a hockey stick neck. So in the back, obviously this is where the battery goes. I wonder if it's smart to buy a uh, spare. <laughs> Hopefully they sell these individually so that I can have a couple spares. I guess it wouldn't hurt mid-show. Uh, and then the rest obviously is under screws, which is, you know, all the circuit boards and all that stuff. Just stop tail, stop tail piece. Really nice, nice bridge. Oh wow, that's interesting. So if you can see underneath the saddles back there, there's uh, like a plug. There's a, it seems to be some kind of like circuit board plug, which is how the guitar speaks to um, you know the interface, I guess. Because when it changes the tuning of the strings, you actually hear the tuning of the strings change versus having a pedal like the Line Six Whammy, which that only um, that will drop to whatever you want, but you'll still hear it in standard key when you're playing it. So there's quite a bit to explore in this thing. So, all right, so there's your standard quarter inch jack. And then, I don't know what that is. Oh, I guess the XLR. Must be for MIDI. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot to learn about this guitar. I will say I didn't do a ton of research. I just knew that I liked the abilities that it had for me um i'll probably be doing a video soon of all their tunings all the 22 songs that we play from iris to name sympathy let love in um, all those are in crazy tunings but i normally have to capo and and it's crazy um and this is gonna allow me to do everything one show um you know one show one guitar that's it the whole thing i can travel with this thing and I have to get probably some Line 6 product floor controller if I want to expand the sound and the amp modeling and all that stuff. But right out of the box, I mean, this thing is really beautiful. It feels good. It's, it's weightier than I thought it would be. It's got some girth to the bottom. Neck is fat. I think they put nines on it. I don't play nines, so they feel really kind of slinky, but I mean, right out of the box. And I gotta say, I love the binding. They did a really nice job um, with this caramel kind of binding. And I got this under one of their specials called Dent and Scratch. And I didn't know what that was. And I came to find out that uh, it's a minor, minor, minor defect in the, in, the, uh, in the warehouse or manufacturing. It could be a blemish, could be a scratch, could be whatever. So they dropped the price. And I think I just found the blemish, believe it or not. It's right here. If I run my fingers over this, I can feel that it's rough. So it could have been something like that, but you know, I play guitars. I don't look at them. I scratch my guitars up. I play them. I, I beat the hell out of them. And that's what I plan to do with this thing. But it's, I have to say, it's pretty beautiful. It feels really nice. Really, really nice. They did a nice job. The gig bag, not bad. Let me see in here. Maybe they put some money in here for Christmas. Oh, the candy stuff. Ah, well, the manual the most important part. Yeah, I'm gonna be reading this. That's pretty thick, actually. A couple wrenches, and then uh, you know, the operator's manual, which is, I this thing goes pretty, pretty deep. Pilot's handbook. When that says that, then that's, uh, <laughs> that kind of gives you, I think that kind of gives you the impression how deep it goes. How deep this, this you know, the rabbit hole with uh, technology and this stuff goes. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. This thing, this thing is really, really cool. And it's beautiful, I have to say. It kind of copied the, the headstock a little bit. It reminds me of Schecter a little bit, slightly with the, um, you know, the V, the exterior V like that. But the tuning knobs look good. It's really pretty. They did a really, really nice job on this guitar. I can't wait to plug it in. And uh, just, this is crazy. One button changes everything. Pretty amazing. So that's my Line 6 Variax. Uh, I'll be doing a demo on it soon. So thanks, Rob at Sweetwater. You're awesome.